Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Super Reaction Bros. I'm Kristen. I'm Christopher. And today, we're taking a look at what could be another good Resident Evil movie. <gasps> There's good Resident Evil movies out there? There is. There is. There is. There is. I know you, you, by your shocked look here, not that shocked. Yes. Um, there are good Resident Evil movies out there. There are the CG movies. Now, mm -hmm. the first one was alright. The second one was actually pretty good. And so we have the third one now that was announced at, I believe announced at Tokyo Game Show. Yeah, it was at called, Tokyo Game Show. Along with like new footage for Resident Evil 7. Yeah. Called, uh, well, there it's called Biohazard, but here it'd be called Resident Evil Vendetta. Vendetta. So, yeah. I believe it has a spring 2017 release. Yeah. It'll take place, um, it'll, st it'll take place, I believe between the events of 6 and 7. But it's going back. Is it no, 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 no. It's gonna take the from it's gonna take place in a mansion again, but this I believe they said it does take place between events six and seven. Or I'm just assuming that. Um, it's gonna start return Chris Redfield, mm -hmm. Leon S. Kennedy, and Rebecca Chambers, who we actually haven't seen since Resident the first Resident Evil game chronicle chronologically. Mm -hmm. You know, I think as far as we know, she she's more of an advisor to, to the group. No, no, she's. Fun fact for you is that she's actually a, a prodigy in a medical field. Okay. And she was, at, I believe she was added to STARS team as their, like, not only their doctor, but also their, med their like, on-field medical. Well, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. On-field yeah. medic. Yeah, okay. And people are, I, I don't know if it's true or not, but I'm assuming that she's an advisor to, like, the whole... Like studying the T virus, knowing about the viruses that trying cause to break it down, the BOWs yeah. and stuff. She's apparently going to be in this as well, though there's no been no footage of her. There has been a teaser, which we're looking at today. Mm -hmm. And like I said, unlike the Mila Jovovich, Paul De Anderson cocktail of bad Resident Evil movies, these movies were actually pretty good. They are. The animated ones are really good. They really... First they really one, first one, like I said, first one's meh. Yeah, but so compared to the movies, compared to the, the, the live action, it's breath of fresh air. Yeah. And the second movie, you can, you can see fucking Leon Kennedy against a tyrant using a tank. Yeah, yeah, I remember that one. Yeah, see? You remember that one. I just, I've seen those first two ones, so... So let's check this out. Let's check this out Resident for Evil Vendetta. Vendetta. So let's here we go. It took a while for this trailer to even come out as well. So here we go. Jacket from six. <sighs> that noise. Just hearing that. That this the, 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 the sh just your footsteps. It's in their mansion, isn't it? There's Chris. Or Chris. It's in their mansion. God, why does it have to be a mansion? I hope that's a line in this movie. It's not gonna be in theaters here. It's probably gonna be like it's not gonna be like a Fathom event, or just like strict to DVD here. Yeah, I have no doubt the voice actors are gonna be back for it. Like you know, who, you know who Chris Redfield's English dub actor is, right? Um, the guy who used to do the voice for Sonic and did the voice for Batman: Arkham Origins. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, the voice of Leon, I I know the guy because he also does voices of popular character from Attack on Titan. Matthew Mercer. Matthew Mercer. Yeah, there you go. Matthew Mercer. I don't remember the other... I don't <laughs> remember the other guy's name, but... I mean, it looks like we're going to deal with a new threat. Yeah. It looks like... This looks like 
they in they um they have to investigate this other man mansion that's per had BOWs in or something like that. Mm-hmm. And then afterwards, somehow Leon, where his investigations? Cause remember, he's like a he's more like a gov- He's not work for BSA. He's more like a government agent. Yeah, he he pretty much. So yeah. so he does have of course he does have knowledgeable experience yeah. of BOWs. So their their lives may intertwine like in six like six did. Mm-hmm. So it should be interesting. We didn't get to see Rebecca. We got a lot of opera singing. Yeah. So. Well, what I love about these Resident Evil animated versions um, is that they stick with the actual story. They stay connected to the game stories compared to the live action films. Live action films, they literally went in their own direction where they create heard, their own story. I heard there was a, I believe that was a rumor to confirm. I'm not sure that the first movie, the original plan was for the first movie to take place in the same universe. It was supposed to be... It was supposed to be... Because you know how, like, Resident Evil Zero had its own mansion. Yeah, yeah. Resi- the first Resident Evil had its own... In a way, it was mansion. supposed to do what they're doing with Assassin's Creed, which is it's it's sticking with the same universe. It's like whatever point yeah, you are yeah, in the game universe, it's like that's where we're at right now. Because, of course, it was supposed to be one of those... Um, like, in the movie, it was supposed to be one of those mansions that had a hidden laboratory and brought yeah. a lab to it. Mm-hmm. Same goes for one zero and RE1. So, I mean, this looks interesting to say at least... I don't. I have to play Revelations too. Mm-hmm. That's the only one I haven't played. I, I believe that takes place in, like sometime after six. After six, it features Claire, um, Barry, and Barry's daughter. Interesting. Pretty much. Interesting. So, and if I won't spoil it for you, because I know down the line you probably won't play it, but it does feature a nice twist by who the main villain is. Oh, okay. If cool. you pay attention, if you've paid enough attention to the lore of the series. Yeah, yeah. So, other than that, though, I'm, I can't wait. I mean, it doesn't show much yeah, here. It doesn't show much, but it shows it's going, it's going back to, you know, what really made it a hit, which is back, you know, just like in the game. Back in the mansion. You know, we're going back, in, we're, you know, they're bringing back that horror. And like, the, and like with horror all, survival. And like with all creepy mansions in this game series, there's more to it. Yeah. And we won't find out till next, probably next spring. That's fine. We're probably gonna get, before then, new teaser, probably another, a big trailer, revealing Rebecca. Because like I said, she's, they've confirmed she's in it. While she's not in place, she's confirmed she is in it. Yeah. So, It'll be interesting to see her again. Like, does she work for the BSAA? Is she a consultant or a physician for them or a scientist for them? That's, that's It'll be interesting to see. Yeah. So, other than that, I can't wait. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be that and a new Sonic game, man. It's going to take yeah. us back. Hell yeah. And then we got Resident Evil 7 January. So, other than that, if you like this video enough, hit the like button. Mm-hmm. If you want to talk to us more about the Resident Evil movie or the next couple Resident Evil well, next Resident Evil CG movie, not the Milo Jovovich one, comment below, let us know. Yeah. If you want to share this video with the world, go ahead and share it. We don't really give a care. So, <laughs> we don't give a shit, okay. Yeah, so, and our question today is, what's been your personal favorite Resident Evil movie? Other movie, or even just uh, we won't, that movie, look, pretty we much. We won't bag on you for liking any of the live action ones, you know. If you like them, go ahead. That's is fine. That, it's just that when you see gamers, you know, who played the series, who know the series, like the back of their hand, you know, it's the type of thing where it's like you, they know the lore of the films, yeah, and not the films but the games. But it's like, it, you know, you're taking that. That's how come a lot of gamers or a lot of gamers pretty much just don't like the films, yeah, because so, it's like they they go in their own direction and 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 and, and point of view yeah. for their own thing. So, yeah, yeah, pretty much. So, yeah. but for now, though. I'm Kristen. I'm Christopher. And we did not die. It's a, it's a, it's you are dead, you are not dead. We are not dead. So we're not telling them to like, comment, share. I did, we just did that. Where, where's your head at? My mind's somewhere else. You did do that? Yes, yes, I did that. Okay. I did that. Alright. But for now, I'm Kristen. I'm Christopher. And we'll see you guys next time. See ya. Later.